All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be taking on the newest global virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, which I believe is number 40 this time. And as always, if you guys want to race me, feel free to use the uh, timer above my head as a reference. And with that said, let's just jump right into it here. Um, in terms of the units we're going to bring, I think I'm going to just keep the same setup as last time. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so first stage, first level, we are facing the invisible man who is extreme int. So we're going to go with extreme fizz and let's do uh, cooler, uh, Google Black, Cell, Broly, other Broly, and a couple of booze. Okay, that's fine. Confirm. And I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one. Go. Okay. We are officially in. Oh, okay. So, uh, hopefully we can finish this guy off in one turn. I don't actually remember what he does. Um, I think he can dodge a lot because he only has one health bar. So, there's got to be some kind of gimmick to this guy. And of course, these are brand new enemies. So, oh, he stuns. Okay, so Cooler was stunned, but Cell's able to get the attack off. So, will this be enough? There we go. Okay, so I guess the uh, special um, ability of the Invisible Man is the stun, but wasn't too bad. All right, moving on to <laughs> the second enemy here, which is this guy whose name I forgot. Let's see. Uh, Aka. Aka, there we go. So, if you guys haven't uh, watched my videos uh, too much, I'm very, very bad with names. So you gotta forgive me if I forget some characters' names here and there. But yeah, so we're gonna go with the Extreme SDR team here. And let's just bring whoever. I don't really think it matters too much. Uh, there we go. Okay. And we are about a minute and 30 seconds in. I'm going pretty slow today, actually. But we will speed things up as we go along. Just gotta warm up first. Okay, here we go. So give those to Broly. Let's give uh, those to Erlis. And just one STR for, for Cooler. Now recently, with the uh, seventh anniversary on JP, I have been playing with my JP account a lot more. And man, it's been, <laughs> it's been pretty rough because on the JP side, I don't have that many units. And uh, the main problem is I don't have a lot of variety as far as the you know teams go so like when i'm trying to do extreme z battle events or you know when i'm trying to do ultimate clash it's just it's just rough man like i don't have the units i don't have the teams and it's really made me appreciate my global account so much more i feel like recently i've been taking my global account for granted because like I'm so used to it, right? So like at this point, I'm used to just having the right units, used to having the right teams. And I know this sounds like a flex, it's not though. I'm just like telling you my experience over the past couple of days <laughs> playing with the JP account. And it's been fun. It's been fun because I did pull the uh, LR Super Saiyan forwards who are insane. Like global players, man, if you guys haven't experienced these new LRs yet, um, we're in for a treat, man. We are absolutely in for a treat when July rolls around because those guys, like, I don't even know how to describe the level of OP, you know, like the level of overpowered that these 7th anniversary LRs are. If you guys want to save all of your stones between now and the 7th anniversary, I would not blame you at all because there's nothing that comes before them that's going to compare. Like, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is great. The Kid Buu is amazing. Like, they're both very good units. Um, we have some other solid releases along the way, like the uh, Transforming Trunks. He's pretty good. Uh, who else? <laughs> I can't even remember anybody else. But the point is, the point is, there's nothing that comes even close to how good the Anniversary LRs are. So, if you want to just skip everything... Uh, I would say go for it, you know, I would say just like, just, just turn, I'm not gonna say don't play the game, because obviously you want to collect the free-to-play stones, but 
just like don't look at any banners between now and July and uh, you'll probably be thankful because those seventh anniversary banners not only are the LRs the two new LRs amazing but the banners themselves are also just ridiculously ridiculously um, valuable right like the value for your stones is is wild with like seven Dokkan Fest LRs featured per banner but um, going back to what I was saying originally yeah I really really appreciate <laughs> my my global account now because like it's nice it's really nice to like just be able to you know run whatever I want like when it comes to ultimate clash like I always know even if I like die maybe you know once on the final boss I always know that I have the the proper units I have the um, proper teams to be able to beat it and that applies to like any extreme Z battle event that comes out or any you know any other event that comes out and uh, I need to appreciate that a little bit more I need to be a little bit more thankful about that because on JP right now I can't beat like a single extreme Z battle event I have a um, AGL transforming Goku and I was like I could extreme Z awaken my AGL Goku to just be like a general all types lead or at least like super type lead and um, I couldn't beat level 15 I think it was I, th I think it was level 15 that I that I got stuck on because um, I was using like a friend uh, LR God Goku and God Vegeta and they were doing really well, really well right but then beyond a certain point the damage reduction in extreme Z battles just gets too much if you don't have the units that are in the effective category and it's not something that I really realized until you know more recently because <laughs> uh, I'm used to like using the right units right using the units in the effective category but if you're not using units in that category uh, it's it's nearly impossible to beat level 30 like I think if I shred really hard right now I can probably you know get to level 20 maybe on the JP side for that uh, transforming Goku extreme Z battle but it's gonna be a huge struggle and there's just no way there's no way I'm gonna get to uh, level 30 and fully extreme Z awaken him so I'm just gonna have to wait until I get more units in the effective category I guess but that's gonna take a long time so I kind of feel like I'm starting fresh again like not completely fresh because I do have like some teams and some units on that side but <clears throat> it's nothing compared to what we got on the global side and that's why no matter how exciting no matter how hype JP gets I'm always gonna be a global main you know like there there's just no way for me to hold on let me just uh swap out the lead there for Broly yeah um <clears throat> yeah there's no way I'm gonna like completely abandon global because what I got going on here is just way too good you know it's just way too nice like all these years of of summons and stones and let's be honest lots and lots of money <laughs> right like that definitely goes a long way so uh if you guys were ever worried about me defecting to the jp side like some other youtubers have i'm not gonna name any names i'm not gonna say you know any specifics but it's happened a couple times over the years um that's not gonna be me man there, there's just no chance that i would completely switch over to jp like whenever exciting stuff happens you know when it comes to like anniversary and stuff like i am tempted to definitely play more of the jp side because obviously i want to see what's going on on that side so that when it comes to global i can uh better report it to you guys right i can like better inform you guys since i have that experience but with that said global will always be number one for me man it's always going to be my first love it's always going to be my main side and uh yeah that's never going to change that's never going to change mark my words i promise you no matter what happens unless they like shut global down which i don't see happening but <laughs> the only reason i would ever quit global completely or like you know shift my focus to jp mainly would be if they shut down global like that's it otherwise global for life man and also it's really nice to be able to understand what's happening in the game like i found myself on jp like constantly going to the dokkan wiki 
looking up like units passives, looking up their their links, because of course, like I don't remember all the links for all the units. Maybe some people do, but I don't. So yeah, I constantly have to like refer to um like websites and like just the those like resources, which is not too bad, but it's definitely a little bit annoying, you know? Um, okay, so for this team, let's go for maybe Goku's family slash Kamehameha. So I think we can go with something like... Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe we can't do a full team like that. Okay, forget it. Let's do... Let's do... I mean, actually, they're both AGL leads too. So we could go with something like... Like this. And then we'll bring these guys. And we can just slot in a... Gogeta, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Ah, <sighs> okay. So, uh, we are on the last stage here. Although there are a lot more enemies, so we're not anywhere close to finished. But, uh, I'm probably... Yo, looking at this team right now, I'm probably going to be working on my Super Saiyan 4s a lot over the next couple of weeks. Because I'm super excited for the... Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta slash Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to drop on, on Global. And uh, by that time, I want to make sure that all of my Super Saiyan 4s have maxed out links, you know, fully level 10, completely done, which uh, won't be too hard. And obviously, we got a lot of time. We got nearly five months to do that. So I'm sure I'll be able to do it before then. But man, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, man. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's the only one I got. I don't, I don't have the, the Blue Boys yet. But I can't imagine the Blue Boys will impress me more than the Super Saiyan 4s. Because it's just... It's just crazy what they do, man. It's just crazy what the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta... And then especially when you go into the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And the counter animation is so good. And does so much damage, too. Not only does it look great... It does so much freaking damage. And then the additional supers. And uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, um, if you want to save all your stones, a good idea, actually. A really, really good idea. In fact, that's what I would probably recommend to most people. If you guys are like fully free to play and there's nothing in between that really tempts you, Maybe, maybe the Dual Dogon Fest between Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Buu. That would probably be the most tempting thing between now and the anniversary. Unless we get a new global first. That could also be tough to skip. But I think the smart thing to do for most people, honestly, just, just save your stones until now, until the anniversary. Like, I'm going to probably talk about that for every pass or pull video between now and and then, like, I will say, you know, like, maybe this banner's really good, maybe these units are really good, maybe you want to spend some stones. So I would still, like, recommend a summon for some things. But at the end of those videos, every time I'm going to refer to the anniversary banners, every time I'm going to say, but keep in mind, 7th anniversary, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, um, LR, uh, Blue Boys, you know, like, those banners, man. They're just too good, so yeah. Um, I think that's the move. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I think saving to the anniversary is is a smart idea. Okay, so uh, versus Piccolo Junior here, we're gonna go with um, the Super Saiyan Three Angel Goku as the other lead, and then let's do Go Frieza, uh, Gohan for sure. Gogeta, Vegito, and let's bring this guy, man. It's been a while since I've run the tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, and I feel like, I just got a feeling, man, I feel like he's going to get an Extreme Z Awakening soon. Him and the SDR Rose. So, yeah, that should be a lot of fun. That should be a lot, a lot of fun. Okay, so who does he link better with, actually? Let me see. Uh, oh, definitely the Gogeta. Okay, and then that's going to be a Tinky Super for them. And we can still get a very nice Super for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Okay, so it seems like we're making pretty good time. 13 minutes, actually. Just about 14 minutes 
um, done. We took a lot of damage there. I was not expecting that. These enemies, I've noticed now, hit much harder than the previous set of enemies. That's one thing that's pretty clear. And they also have more HP. So Ultimate Clash has definitely gotten harder with the new set. Um, not like significantly harder, but harder for sure. And there's no question that the Omega Shenron is much more challenging than the Golden Frieza was. Bro. Are you freaking kidding? Okay, well... <laughs> I don't know why that happened, but... Our game just crashed. I'm gonna let the timer keep going though. Oh my god. It just crashed again. This has never happened before during... At least not during Battlefield. Um, it might have happened like once or twice during a stream when I was like streaming for hours and maybe... I don't know, my device just like overheated or something like that, but not during one of these like shorter videos. Yo, it's not even... Hold on, let me, let me try this. Let me just close it. And... That's not right. What is happening? It might be time for an upgrade, guys. This is a pretty old tablet. So I feel like maybe this is a sign. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is restart the tablet. And uh, after that, hopefully things will work out. So I'm gonna try that and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are back in it. The refresh did work. Um, unfortunately, I'm not really sure how much time ran off the clock. <laughs> while that was going on so the time is not going to be super accurate let's just say let's just say we take off a minute from what the final time is i think that's fair and i'm gonna restart it in uh now let's go okay okay so some technical difficulties definitely something i haven't experienced before <laughs> during one of these recordings um but yeah, I'm definitely going to be upgrading as soon as possible. Um, as soon as I find like some iPads on sale, I'm going to grab one immediately because I can't have that happen too regularly. Although, once again, that was like the first time. So maybe it was like a freak kind of accident kind of thing. Maybe it won't happen again. But if it does happen again, then this tablet is definitely done. Or I might just switch back to my... Um, my phone, which is much newer than this tablet. That could also, that could also work. Okay, so, I do want to test out the Vegito Blue, but at the same time, I don't really trust him defensively, because as you can see, he has 34,000 defense, which is really bad. So, I'm actually, uh... Nobody's defense right now is that good. I mean, these guys need to attack first, the Goku and Frieza. So let's put them there. Um, let's do a couple orbs for the Vegitos. All right, hopefully we can kill. Oh my God, this might be really bad. Oh, that's not what you want. That is not what you want. <clears throat> Um, there is a chance we die here. There, there is a possibility that we actually die on this fight, which would be a first. That would be new. Okay, so I'll be sealing there. Um, Matito Blue maybe can clutch it with like four supers. I don't think four supers would have been enough, actually. <laughs> because each super right now is not hitting that hard. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Okay, well, either way, uh, we should be able to finish him off with the... I'm going to say go... Nope, let's do, let's do Gogeta. This is safer. So Gogeta and then Goku... Or sorry, Gohan will definitely... 
finish the job if the Goku and Vegeta don't. There's a super. Gonna do 99k. Ooh. Yeah, this is a close one. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna finish him off here. But this is way too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. Literally gonna make it out of here with uh, 7,000 HP. Okay, well, there you have it. Definitely not gonna be underestimating the Piccolo Jr. in the future. And uh, we got three more. Okay, so for Super Vegeta, my Super SDR team should do just fine. Uh, let's go for the double Super Saiyan 4s. UI Goku, Vegito, Gogeta, and uh, I'm gonna bring a couple of tanks just, just to be safe. <laughs> just in case, just in case. <laughs> All right, no more playing around guys, like this is serious. This is serious. All right, um, I'm gonna trust UI to dodge a good amount of attack, so let's put him there. And then that's gonna be 18 key for Gogeta, and let's get a super four. Vegeta as well. All right, give me a couple dodges here. Okay, one, two, three, nice. A lot better than I expected. That was awesome, good job. Good job, UI. And a crit too, beautiful. Another dodge, nice. That's four in a row, guys. Four in a row, right there. That's Tier Gogeta. With some good damage. Additional super. No additional super. That's fine. And of course, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Not going to do much damage here, but if we need him to tank, he will do that very well for us. And we got the Super Saiyan 4 rotation. That's beautiful. Uh, that's going to be a nice super for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And uh, this might do it, guys. This might do it. This stage so far is going very differently. Or this fight, rather, is going... Oh my god! Did... Okay, so I didn't misread that. We took 250k? From a super? <laughs> what? Wow. Did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. All right, Tech Goku, Tech Goku, Super Int. Um, we're gonna do these two as our leader. Wait, hold on. It's 120, right? Yeah, 120. I could go for the Kid Gohan, but I don't really trust him here. So yeah, let's do these guys, and then I'm gonna bring Vegeta. Maybe I should have brought Hercule. It does seem like tanking is very much required on these later stages, on these later fights. Um, let's do the two Gogetas. And I'm gonna give, uh, I wanna give a Rainbow Orb to Super Gogeta for the dodges, but at the same time, I wanna save those for the Vegito. So I'm gonna save them for the Vegito so we can get some more damage and just try to kill the Goku as quickly as we possibly can. There's a Super. It seems like we're not gonna be countering. Okay, high chance to counter, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. Wait, no, isn't it a great chance? No, it's high chance. Yeah, high chance to counter, 50%, didn't get it there. What can you do? What can you do? Okay, nice additional super, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Very nice. Yeah, so it looks like we are gonna be able to finish this in two rotations. I don't know why we struggled so much with the Piccolo Jr. I guess um, maybe just bad rotations or something like that. But either way, that's behind us now. Um, this should be enough to get him out of here. I don't know how we didn't get an 18 key super with the Gohan though. That's tough. Okay. Well, you. Oh. Oh, not bad. Not bad. 
I'm still like living in the past right now, where I think uh, Intel or Gohan is a bad tank, but that's not the case anymore. He's not a good tank, but he's much better now with the Extreme Z Awakening. I gotta, I gotta remember that. Yeah, even though like his defense is still not amazing, it's it's very much enough for stuff like this, right? For like Ultimate Clash, and uh, even regular Super Bad Road, he's he's okay. Okay. Last stage, guys. Omega Shenron time. I'm definitely more nervous than before just because of uh, some of the struggles we've experienced today and also the technical difficulties. This would be the time that our device decides to die again. But fingers crossed, doesn't happen. Super Fizz is the team. Um, let's go for Go Tanks. And do I want to bring the Gohan as the other lead? Is the question. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, so Gohan, and then obviously Blue Boys, Gogeta, Vegito Blue. Uh, I'm gonna bring the GT Goku, and then let's go for... Hmm, let's go for Roche. Hmm, that's tough, man, I don't know. Uh, let's, let's go for Tien. Yeah, let's go for Tien. He gets good defense, he's a good tank. <sighs> that might have been a bad call. I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I'm like immediately regretting it now. Oh, he locked our Gotenks. That's not amazing. That's not great. Okay, so I'm going to put Tien there. Um, Gohan could screw us for sure. Gohan could definitely screw us. His defense is going to be under 100,000, which really worries me. That concerns me a lot. I hope Tien gets supered. Please super Tien, man. Oh god, okay. We're dead. We're dead. We're, it, it's, it's over. It's done. I messed up. Mm. Oh? I thought that was going to do like 400... Okay, man, I, I swear, I thought I was going to do something ridiculous, but no. We actually, we actually made it out of there okay. All right, um, let's give eight orbs to the GT Goku, get a little bit of healing in there as well. Uh, guess I'll give these to the blue boys and at least get a super for Gogeta. Oh god. Okay, this might this might do us in. This might be it. Oh no, we're still alive. We're still alive. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to finish him off with this team. <clears throat> it might be a close call if we're able to heal up a little bit with some orbs. Um the thing that sucks is we can't get the fusion for Gogeta. To heal us back up. If I had that going for us, then I would feel much better about the situation, right? But no, we don't have that going right now, so. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think we're gonna have enough to do this, honestly. But uh hey, you never know. Yo, Vegito Blue could definitely clutch this. I'ma give just two orbs to the Vegito Blue. I'm gonna give the, these to Tien just so we can heal up a bit. And then we have five orbs for Gohan. Okay, so Vegito Blue, if you give me like four super, maybe three supers? Or at least more than one super, <laughs> that would have been great. Oh, oh god, okay, well. There's that. That's that's game over for us, man. That's GG. Okay, the good thing is he's almost dead. The good thing is he's almost dead. So I just have to bring... Let me see what my leaders are. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a couple of all type leads. So we could do... Um, we could do Vegeta, right? As a super type lead. And then the other leader... Did I bring LR Goku? I didn't bring Goku. Oh, we can bring 
while Trunks is not ideal, but he is a super type lead. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna bring whatever. Hopefully those guys don't get super immediately and die. That's the main concern. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. Um, gain some orbs. No. Okay. Well. Uh, five orbs. I guess it's not terrible. And at least get a super off with uh, Vegeta, and then seven orbs for Kaba. Okay, let's see what happens here. Not good things. Not good things. <laughs> oh man. This is probably the most I've struggled in Ultimate Clash in a while. I gotta say, guys, Vegeta, please clutch this for us. Come on. Ooh, okay. Gabba? He's gotta have enough damage, right? This, this has gotta be enough. This guy's almost dead. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Stop the timer. 31 minutes, 38 seconds. Let's just say, let's just say 30 minutes. Because I don't know exactly how much time we took when we tried to, uh, you know, get the game started again after my game crashed the first time. So, um, I'm gonna say 30 minutes, <laughs> which is nothing to be proud of, but at least we got it done. At least we got it done. And like I said, guys, that is the most I've struggled in probably like 20 Ultimate Clashes, which is, um, actually not a terrible thing. I'm, I'm honestly kind of happy about that because I always want more of a challenge. I'm always looking for um, something to make me feel like I might not be able to beat it. And uh, Ultimate Clash these days has definitely at least somewhat provided that challenge. So, yo, keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. Keep giving us these harder bosses. Keep making me sweat a little bit during these videos. I just hope I don't have to deal with the uh, technical difficulties as much in the future, but otherwise, it was a good run, a fun run, a little bit stressful near the end, but otherwise, um, I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. At least we got it done. So uh, there you have it, guys. 40th Virtual Tokon Ultimate Clash on a global. About 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Let me know your final times in the comments down below and how it compared to mine. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's going to be the video. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.